So, hi everyone. Uh, we're here today to host uh, Diog Pirsch. Uh, the original speaker was Paul Trusinch, the CEO of Eptoid, but uh, due to a, a problem in his schedule, uh, we'll have Diogo, that is head of blockchain development, and uh, I'll pass them the, the microphone. So, we're going to start now. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everyone. Um, well, again, I'm sorry if you were uh, expecting to see Paulo, but uh, it was impossible for him to, to be here today. Um, so, uh, as Antonio said, I'm, I'm the head of the blockchain development uh, in uh, Aptoid. Um, and uh, I will talk uh, today about uh, the project that we are developing in Aptoid, but first a bit more about uh, blockchain in general. Um, what's, what's what, is, what is a blockchain? What are the building blocks? Um, of, of uh, a blockchain infrastructure um, and what are the advantages and the, and the problems that exist today. So first, what's blockchain? Uh, blockchain is uh, um, it's just a database. So it's a database or a ledger um, that contains information about transactions. Transactions can be several uh, different things. It can be simple uh, transfers of value uh, like a normal currency. Um, or it can be the result of uh, computations. Um, this database, this ledger, um, is shared uh, among, uh, amongst a, ne a network, um, which means that um, it's, it's very hard to hack because the, more, uh, the, the bigger the network, the, it's more difficult to, to, to hack the system. Um, the, this ledger the, and the blockchain is, uh, the, is composed by blocks. So blocks are the, the uh, basic component of blockchains, and these uh, these blocks are the are the, the units that um, that uh, store the, tr the transactions. Um, the blocks are linked together. I'll explain how, and uh, it's this link between blocks that uh, then um, forms a chain, and then the, the the name blockchain. Finally. Here it depends on the on the on the blockchain project in specific. Uh, in the main two ones, Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, that you may know, um, miners uh, are what we call nodes in the network, and miners are the ones that maintain the integrity in the in the blockchain. So miners are the ones that validate transactions that and that um, invalidate uh, illegitimate ones. Uh, so that the, um, the blockchain can remain um, coherent. Um, in the miners, it dep also again depending on the on the blockchain um, a project, um, miners can create blocks either by solving uh, complex mathematical uh, puzzles, um, normally known as proof of work, or uh, it can uh, they can create blocks based on uh, the stake that they provide. Um, which is normally called uh, proof of stake. There are other uh, types of uh, block creation, but these are the two main ones. Um, so, almost every blockchain uh, project, uh, at least the, the and, and the main ones, they have five um, uh, main elements um, that compose the the blockchain infrastructure. The first one uh, are the blocks. So, a block contains, as I said, uh, several uh, transactions. Transaction can be 
simple transfer of value uh, as it occurs in, in Bitcoin, for example. Uh, so in Bitcoin, the, you can't do much more. Uh, it's very difficult to do more than just sending Bitcoins to, to, from one person to another. Um, or they can, co they can contain uh, the results of computations. For example, Ethereum, the, the second biggest uh, blockchain, um, uh, the, the, the second biggest blo uh, blockchain project, um, you can build programs on top of, of, of the network, so transactions can contain the result of the, execu of the execution of, of those programs. Um, the, all the transactions are, are um, verified and accepted by the miners, um, and they are all timestamped. Um, as I've said, uh, all the blocks from a chain, uh, because blocks or one block is connected to, uh, is linked to the previous one, um, by the way its hash or its ID is computed. So if I were to change uh, an hash of, uh, of a block, and hash, uh, an hash of the block is computed from all the transactions that it contains, if I were to change uh, one transaction, automatically the, the hash would change, and then um, the next block uh, would uh, have uh, would be incoherent in regards to to the to the previous to the previous one. So if I were to change one single transaction in one block in the middle of, of, of a blockchain, I would need to change all the sub subsequent uh, blocks. So it be it it, um, it is very nor normally very difficult to 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 attack um, uh, a blockchain uh, because you need to. Um, change all the, all the blocks, um, and uh, you need to do it faster than the blocks are created by the, the, honest, uh, the, the honest miners. Um, so yeah, this link is what forms a chain, and that's the, the blockchain term. Uh, so second is, is the token. Um, the token uh, of in a blockchain can be um, viewed as a, a currency, a cryptocurrency, so just transfer of value. Um, or an utility token, so something that uh, you, people can use and projects can use uh, to make their protocols work. So in Ethereum, for example, you can use uh, Ethers, the, the, the main, um, uh, the main uh, uh, token of, of, of the, the, the project to uh, just transfer value or to power or to fuel the computations uh, that uh, occur in the network. So the third element is uh, the network itself, uh, the um, the peer-to-peer -peer network uh, that uh, uh, every blockchain uh, project has. Um, here what we have, and you may already know from uh, other projects that don't have anything to do with blockchain, um, it's the difference, uh, it, 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 uh, it's a difference between um, the traditional client-server architecture to um, a peer-to-peer -peer one, so every node is a, uh, at, a, at the same time uh, a server uh, and, and the client, and the data, um, all the information, all the, all the transactions uh, are shared amongst the network. In some projects, uh, every node has all the transactions. In some other projects, um, the, 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 the distribution of the data is made uh, a bit differently. Um, so the fourth element is the consensus al algorithm. So how uh, miners or nodes come to an agreement about what happened uh, and when. Uh, so uh, how um, miners uh, accept all the transactions that occur as valid or reject the, the invalid ones. Um, here we have, there are several ones. As I've said in the, in the beginning, um, you can, we, can, uh, we have, two, we have two, main, two main consensus algorithms, proof of work and, and proof of stake. Um, so uh, in, in, proof of in, in proof of work, all the miners have to validate all the transactions, um, which pose, um, as you may, may, some of you may know, um, scalability problems, uh, because everyone needs to know everything. Um, and in some other um, approaches, uh, we can divide the, res the responsibility. So some nodes validate some transactions, and some other nodes validate other transactions. Um, finally, the final element is the virtual machine and the programming language. Um, here, uh, there are also, again, big, uh, big differences between projects. Um, focusing on the two main ones, Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. Um, in, in Bitcoin, uh, 
you again, it's very difficult to build uh, something on top of Bitcoin, on the, of the Bitcoin blockchain, and that's why uh, we only see Bitcoin uh, has a transfer of value, has a cryptocurrency. Um, but in Ethereum, you can create, uh, you have a high uh, level language that you can use to create um, uh, programs and, and logic and even different protocols that are built on top of, 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 of the main one. Uh, and uh, this actually, what this does is you make a, a one uh, blockchain instead of just a transfer of value, you make it as a, a, a distributed supercomputer. So what are the main advantages of, uh, of blockchain as a technology? Um, trust, because all the transactions are uh, cryptographically secured and signed. Um, and the ledger and all the ledger or, or the database, all the transactions are shared amongst the, the network, uh, which makes it very difficult to, to hack it. Uh, because you need uh, to acquire the majority of the nodes um, to, to be able to actually change uh, data uh, as you would see fit, as it would benefit um, an attacker. Transparency, um, so all transactions are public and they can be verifiable uh, to see uh, if they are valid or not by anyone uh, in the network or outside the network. Um, privacy, uh, here privacy means that users only have um, one identifier, that's uh, an address, and the address itself does not contain any link to um, any user-related information like uh, email or bank account or something like that, you don't have it. So if you just stick with the, with the address itself, um, we can see blockchain as a private, uh, um, has a, uh, containing privacy um, uh, features, and um, low transaction costs. Here, if some of you already know um, a, a bit more about uh, blockchain projects, uh, here, what I mean about low transaction costs is when you um, do transactions that would require some intermediaries. Here, that you don't need. Uh, and uh, so you cut all those fees that would be um, present in those transactions. But as we will see, uh, there are some problems. One of them are the transaction fees that, that, that exist um, and, and that are actually a problem. So maybe I will start with those. that one. So transaction fees, so every transaction need, needs to pay something to the network. Has, um, an incentive for the miners to 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 create blocks and to maintain the the, the network. Uh, and if we think about transactions that are a big uh, um, a bit higher in value, like if I would be transfer 100 euros worth of uh, ether or Bitcoin, uh, maybe the transaction fees are small. Uh, but if I were to use um, blockchain. Uh, and, and, and the tokens to pay for smaller things like coffee uh, or something like that, the transactions fees would, uh, are already non-neglectable. Um, and also scalability. So um, in the m two main projects, uh, and the, those are the ones that are uh, more mature and that exist and that are working um, every day, uh, we can't do many transactions per second. Uh, here, as an example, Visa uh, already uh, manages more, way more than 50,000 transactions per second during peak times, like Christmas, for example. Um, and Ethereum uh, only manages to do 15. Um, also, in this in these projects, everyone needs to know every node needs to know everything um, about uh, all the transactions. So you, we have a problem in storage that will, uh, if nothing is changed, that will, that may exist in the in the future. Uh, so this, if every, if you need a lot, uh, if you need a, a significant amount of storage, you can have uh, light clients like uh, a laptop or even a phone being part of a network because you wouldn't have space to to store all the information. Um, so. Here and focusing on Ethereum because then um, uh, the, the project that I, I, I will present to you about that Upcoin, that Aptoid is developing um, about Ethereum. So Ethereum uh, is a, the, the the blockchain that we are using has 
um, some solutions for these two problems, scalability and, and transaction fees. Um, there are, um, and for other projects, first layer uh, solutions, so solutions that uh, will change the base protocol I itself, and then second layer solutions that are solutions built um, to work outside the, 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 the protocol itself. For the first layer, so Ethereum works as a proof of work. Proof of work um, uh, means that um, everyone needs to know everything about all the transactions, and you need to solve difficult uh, and hard to solve mathematical problems uh, to be able to create a block as a miner. Um, and uh, what that does is uh, it takes a lot of time, um, uh, considering the, the amount of transactions per second that we would like to see in the project. Um, so it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of um, electricity, as, my, as some of you may know. Um, so one solution uh, for, for this problem is proof of stake, uh, which means that you can create blocks instead of, on average, um, 20 seconds that exist now uh, to uh, something in the order of magnitude, uh, order of, magnitude of one second. Um, and you can, the, the nodes that are selected to create the, the next block are chosen in a de deterministic way. Um, so, uh, uh, well, you uh, use less electricity, you can create blocks much faster, uh, and then you can use this to scale. Um, also, um, this enables another, um, another, pro another um, solution that's sharding. Uh, so sharding, what, what sharding means is that not every node needs to, nodes, needs to know about everything in the network. Uh, so some nodes may verify s a part of the transactions and some other nodes may verify the other, uh, other, other, uh, other transactions. Uh, so the, the, the load of validation is distributed, even more distributed uh, amongst the network. And this uh, means that we can even increase by one or two orders of magnitude the, the number of transactions per second that the blockchain can uh, um, can do. And then in second, for second layer solutions, so solutions that are built on top of the main uh, protocol, um, we have Raiden. So Raiden, uh, what is, uh, it creates a network of uh, also nodes. Um, and the, the, the network relies on the main blockchain, of, on the main uh, Ethereum blockchain. Uh, for deposits, but then it opens uh, payment channels between nodes, um, and transactions that occur within those payment channels are instant, uh, are, are instantaneous. So uh, you do a kind of a, like one deposit, and then uh, for that channel that you have with someone, uh, and then you can transact uh, as many, uh, you can do as many transactions as you want until, you ex you, uh, until the, the channel is. Um, uh, is uh, is deleted. Um, it, as it is a network, a peer-to-peer -peer network, you can also, if you don't have a direct channel to someone that you want to send um, Ether or any other kind of token in the Ethereum network, you can use other people's channels uh, that you have uh, to reach the final, the final, the, the final destination. Um, and then Plasma. So Plasma works uh, has a, a, a hierarchy. Or, or a tree of, of, of blockchains. Um, and what these um, um, lower level blockchains uh, do is that they share, uh, or they, the, the, the validation and the, the, the code execution uh, that exists is uh, distributed among them. And uh, only periodically they uh, send back um, uh, validation to the main one. And in the main one, it's where the, all the, the information will be stored uh, permanently, but the, the main network don't, doesn't need to do everything by itself. So these, these are the, what a, blo a blockchain, pro a blockchain uh, um, protocol is in general. Um, these are the normal uh, building blocks of almost every, um, every blockchain uh, infrastructure. And um, I will present now uh, the, the AppCoins project that is being developed by the, the Aptoid um, the Aptoid team uh, that is built on top of Ethereum, uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, just a small context, uh, Aptoid is a Portuguese company, a Portuguese startup that exists already for um, more or less five years. 
Um, we have already more than 200, uh, so Aptoid is an App Store, an Android App Store, where everyone can create um, uh, their own store and upload any apps that they like, and other people can uh, subscribe and, and follow uh, those stores. Uh, we have already two, more than 200 million users, uh, almost 5 billion uh, downloads, um, and, uh, and we have several uh, partnerships with a lot of developers and manufacturers, and um, yeah. So the AppCoins project. So this started as um, um, we identifying what were the main problems in the in in app stores in general, um, even Google Play, um, that are not solved uh, yet, uh, and we try to identify what were the main ones and then how could we solve or, or mitigate them. So, uh, we started, we identified these three problems, so uh, m mobile advertising, which means that how can a developer then, um, uh, how can a developer advertise his own uh, his applications? So not exactly the, the, the ads that you see inside each app, but how can uh, I, I advertise the, the app itself? Um, Payment systems, so this in, uh, in the perspective of app stores uh, and, and developers, uh, when you do, when a user pays for an item inside the, an app store, uh, inside the, uh, an, uh, an app, um, normally the developer waits a lot of time to, to see the, the, the money uh, and the app store uh, also. So uh, this is also a problem. And then the reputation of developers and of, of, of the apps, so how uh, can a, dev a developer be considered trusted or not, and also the apps. Um, all the app stores do their own thing, uh, what works best for them, um, there's not much uh, knowledge sharing, uh, and we considered uh, this to be the, the main problem. So all of these rely on, uh, or have at its core, two main problems, trust and transparency, and that's why we decided that blockchain would be a, a, a good solution for this. So we didn't uh, start as thinking, oh, blockchain is a, th is a thing now, uh, what can we do with it? Uh, it was the other way around, we have problems, maybe blockchain can help us uh, solve them. Um, so the, the, the AppCoins uh, solution is, uh, uh, we create um, with the first two problems, or the solution for the first two problems for advertising and, uh, and payments, uh, a circular economy. So when a user uses the app that is being advertised, uh, the user, for his for its uh, for his attention, um, the user gets the major part of, of of what the developer is paying, but also there's a margin for the app store and the and the manufacturer, and then the user can use those earned app coins or the app coins that he that he buys to um, buy items inside inside the application. So what we here what we uh, do is that uh, we create uh, we. In, uh, increase the margins uh, both for the developers um, and create margins for users that don't exist today. So you, you don't get anything by using an app uh, nowadays. Um, and everything, uh, all of this is transparent uh, uh, because we are using blockchain for this uh, and uh, is um, instantaneous. So it's, 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 very, it's very fast to, to, to make uh, uh, payments. So for the advertising, we go from uh, a very complex flow where you have a lot of parties uh, that uh, are between the developer that is creating a campaign until the user that actually uses the app. And all of these parties take a, lo a lot of the, uh, of the revenue uh, or a lot of the, of the budget of the developer. Uh, and we make it uh, a, simple direct, a, a simple connection from the developer to the users through the, the app stores. Um, and then we pay users for uh, for their for their, uh, their attention to to the to the apps, um, depending on the amount of attention that they do that they give. Um, for in-app purchase, uh, we um, increase the the share of the developers, um, and the the payments are again uh, immediate. So um, you don't have to wait one or two weeks for the payments to be processed by the, the, the app store or, or the banks, you don't have to, to, to wait, the developer can have the money, the money immediately as well as the app stores um, and the manufacturers. 
um, for the reputation uh, system for, for the developers and, and for the apps. Uh, we go from these, so here is a diagram of what we use in Aptoid. Uh, other app stores use their own systems that work uh, uh, well for them to one that uh, is transparent and that's shared um, for all the app stores that integrate the protocol. Um, the protocol gives uh, uh, app stores information and that, and then app stores of course are free to use it as, uh, as they like, but all the, all, all everything that's computed by the protocol is public uh, and everyone can see it. Uh, so, for developers, the main the main benefits uh, is that uh, you can uh, do one one uh, your application and then publish to multiple stores uh, at once. You have more revenue, um, and uh, you since you pass from this flow that has a lot of parties to a direct flow for to, to the user, um, you actually reduce a lot the the fraud that exists in uh, by adding all those parties that. Sometimes not, they, don't, they don't add much value, and you, you can't actually verify what they are doing. Um, for the app stores and for the OEMs, so we um, uh, we all they have uh, a split uh, a revenue from from all the transactions. Um, OEMs now um, manufacturers nowadays don't don't have any uh, transparency. Uh, everything is uh, see uh, can be seen by by anyone. And uh, uh, we, we improve the timing of payments, as I as I have already said. Uh, so uh, we intend to. So we started to uh, develop this um, in August of, of last year, um, discussing the idea, and uh, we launched the the, the pre ICO during I think uh, September or October. Uh, we did the ICO itself, so raising um, funds uh, to for the project uh, in, the, um, in the end of last year, it ended in December. We raised uh, a bit more than uh, 16 million uh, dollars. And then we want to have Aptoid uh, publish a version that already implements all, of the, all, all the protocol by the end of, uh, of this year, and then uh, make the protocol available by, for any app stores. So the development will be done by another party completely, completely unrelated to Aptoid. Uh, we are developing it now, but it's supposed to be something uh, developed by someone, uh, some, uh, some other uh, entity. Um, we, you can follow uh, our work and even contribute uh, if you want, because all of this is um, open source. Um, we can uh, follow us on, uh, on our GitHub um, uh, repositories now it's uh, they are still on the on the uh, under the Aptoid um, uh, account and uh, responsibility but in the future they will be from in a different entities responsibility but now you can follow us there and contribute and give feedback uh, with what you think um, so to finish um, the app coins here so it's a new uh, concept for an app store, but AppCoin is not an app store itself. It's a protocol to be used by uh, s uh, several app stores, uh, but um, that but it increases the value uh, for users uh, that uh, the the app stores have have now. So the more app stores the protocol uh, has, uh, the more added value uh, it has for users and and for manufacturers and for developers. Uh, and yeah, and that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free. We are now uh, going to sort a prize. Um, so, can you go to to um, random dot dot org? Yeah. Oh, Alguém não recebeu?
Portanto, ganhou o número 15. <risos> Pode chegar aqui à frente, se faz favor. Mas tem, tem um número. Tem um número aqui em baixo. <risos> Obrigado. Obrigado. Diverte. Pessoal, queria-vos convidar também uh, a voltarem aqui uh, para a palestra do Limor Schweitzer, que vai acontecer às, às 5 da tarde. Uh, vai ser sobre robótica. Ele tem duas startups em robótica aqui em Lisboa e, e venham descobrir como é que ele as criou. Obrigado. Podem aproveitar também agora aqui o Coffee Break.